beta decay. Okay, so this is when the beta particle is sent out of the nucleus. So the beta particle, it is essentially an electron. No mass. And it carries a minus one charge. So the beta particle, it's called a beta instead of a elect normal electron because it's not an electron that is in the energy levels. So this particle is formed when a neutron decays in the nucleus. So the neutron, it splits apart into a proton and an electron. And the nucleus, it, this gets emitted out. It's emitted out as radiation. So general beta decay. So we have our unstable starting structure atom. It's unstable. It has a mass of Z, or I'm sorry, a mass of A, an atomic number of Z. It spits out that beta particle. So this is the beta. That's the bad stuff. The beta takes no mass with it, and it carries that minus one charge. Here is our new structure, which is more stable than what we started with. So take a look. It's mass of A minus zero. So the mass doesn't change. But now take a look at this. Whatever Y's atomic number it has to be, has to be the same as Z. So this is Z plus 1. So let's take a look at an example of phosphorus. So phosphorus, if we look on the periodic table, it has an atomic number of 15. It goes through a beta decay. So if we come back up here to our table N, here's phosphorus. It's telling us right here, beta decay. So I know right away I'm going to write down my beta decay. The beta particle takes no mass with it, so the new, more stable structure has a mass of 32. I know that my total number of protons needs to be 15 because that's how many we start with on the phosphorus side, so I need something plus negative 1 equals 15, so that would have to be 16. And I have to look up the symbol. P only has 15 protons. What structure has 16? So when I look on the periodic table, I know that this is sulfur. So this is the new, newly formed, more stable nucleus.